What's going on guys? New York Sports up here coming at you with another New York Giants video and I want to talk about the game between the Giants and the Browns on Sunday night. Uh, every Thursday night I do the previews for the game and I'm going to be doing mine tonight. And um, Giants and the Browns play and um, Giants are, I think the Browns are the five point favorites I believe and the Giants most likely won't have Daniel Jones. And they also won't have James Bradbury. Today, the Giants put James Bradbury on the COVID list. He was around someone that ended up testing positive. So he's quarantining. And uh, James Bradbury will not play against the Cleveland Browns. Also, Jason Garrett ended up testing positive. So Freddie Kitchens will, the former Browns head coach. That's uh, kind of that's kind of funny how Jason Garrett tests positive and then the former Browns head coach you know, ends up calling the plays. I thought that was pretty funny. So uh, Freddie Kitchens will be calling the plays against the Browns uh, on Sunday night. That should be interesting. I don't know how this is going to work out. I don't know if Daniel Jones is going to play or not. It's looking like it is going to be Colt McCoy. I believe he Colt McCoy did have a couple seasons in Cleveland. I might be wrong. I, I, I don't know he was with the Redskins. I don't remember if he might have been with the Browns. I don't remember. But I, I heard that someone said Colt McCoy was a Brown for a little bit. I don't remember. He's been in the league for so long. He's I, I don't know. But um, Freddie Kitchens will be calling the plays. Colt McCoy most likely will be the starting quarterback against a very good Cleveland Browns team, a team that came down to the wire and lost 47-42 to the Cleveland Browns. They had a really bad defensive performance. Lamar Jackson came in, you know, came into the game and tore them up. And uh, who else? Uh, I don't remember, but I know a lot of other Ravens players had big games. Uh, the Browns defense really struggled uh, last week against Baltimore, and that you know they could be fatigued, you know, from. From Thursday night, you know, or from sorry, from Monday night against you know against the Ravens, the the def their Browns defense could be fatigued. Maybe that's an advantage for the Giants. Who knows? But uh, the Browns still have a very good team, and uh, we we're definitely not better than them. We're special, you know. Ha you know, we're so single handed right now without Bradbury, our best player. You know, without Dan, mo most likely without Daniel Jones, and even even if he is playing, he's not a hundred percent, so he's probably not going to play well. And you know, without Saquon Barkley, of course. So, I mean, the Giants, I mean, they have no business winning this game. So, it's it's going to be very, t you know, it's going to be very tough for us to win. And honestly, I'm not banking on it. I don't I don't see the Giants winning this game. And honestly, honestly, I don't see this game being really that close. I mean, the Browns are a lot better team. They're a lot healthier. The Giants don't have any of their star players, you know, you know, they don't really they don't have really any star players, but their best player, James Bradbury, is not even going to play. So, I mean, it's, it's going to be really tough for the Giants to win. I just really don't see it happening. So, I wanted to make a quick preview for the Giants and Browns game. I want to know your thoughts on the game down in the comments below. And uh, make sure to stay tuned for nightly Giants videos. I talk about the Giants. I talk do Yankee videos. I do, you know, mainly just Giants and Yankees videos. I do, you know, MLB and NFL videos in general. So, make sure to stay tuned for those videos coming out every single night around 11 o'clock, you know, around midnight, 11 o'clock. I usually upload my videos, so make sure to stay tuned for those. And, uh, yeah, guys, if you're pumped up for this Giants game, drop a like, drop a comment. Even though I don't see the Giants winning it, I want to know your thoughts. What are your thoughts on Garrett testing positive? What are your thoughts on Freddie Kitchens calling the game against his former team? What are your thoughts on um, Colt McCoy? How do you expect Colt McCoy to play? Honestly, I'm not expecting much from him. And a Colt McCoy, I mean, hasn't really been too bad. I mean, if he doesn't turn the ball over, I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. But, again, Colt McCoy gets a good Browns team. It's not looking good for the Giants, but... Hell, maybe they can find a way to win. I mean, the defense has got to step up big time. If they want to win this game, defense has got to find a way to be, you know, just absolutely stuff the, you know, the run because the Browns' run running game is ridiculous. You got Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb, you know, two really good running backs. It's going to be really tough for the Giants. So run, the run defense has got to step up. So guys like Leonard Williams, Blake Martinez, uh, Delvin Tomlinson, Dexter Lawrence, they they all got to you know have a good game on Sunday because if they if we don't stop the run, there's no way we you know there's no way we you know keep this game even close. So the Giants got to stop the run, and they got to score some points. Plain and simple, I mean, the offense has been atrocious this year. The, the offense has got to be better, and uh, the Browns' defense again might be fatigued, you know, from Monday night. So maybe the Giants, you know, Colt McCoy and the. You know, the Giants' weapons, Wayne Gallman and, uh, you know, Slate and Shepard Ingram, they can take advantage of a fatigued Browns defense and find a way to, you know, score some points, you know, put some points on the board and, tr you, know, try to you know, try to find a way to win this game. It's going to be really tough. The Browns are a really good team. They're 9-4. and four. They're second in the AFC North. And it's a big game for them. Uh, it's probably a bigger game for them than it is for us. But this is the biggest game of the season for the Giants. But, again, the Giants are 5-8. and eight, and They're playing in the worst division in the history of, and the, of the NFL. So... You know, it's not really that big of a game, but 
it is for the Giants. This is the biggest game of the season. Um, if we don't win this game, uh, our playoff hopes are pretty much over. So we got to find a way to win. I, I don't see it happening, honestly. I really don't. And I think we probably need a miracle to win this game with Colt McCoy in there, most likely without Daniel Jones playing. Maybe he does play, I don't know, but it's it's not looking like Daniel Jones is going to play without James Bradbury, our, our best defensive player. Thank God Odo Beckham's, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not happy he's hurt, but if Odo Beckham was playing in this game, uh, our number one corner would be like Isaac Yautam, and he, <laughs> Odell Beckham would burn Isaac Yautam, so thank God he's not playing, but anyway, uh, Jarvis Landry should be their number one receiver uh, for to, uh, for Sunday, and uh, we'll see how Isaac Yautam does against Jarvis Landry, or maybe it's Logan Ryan, I don't know, but uh, the Giants play the Browns on Sunday night, want to know your expectations for the game, my expectations are pretty low, I'm not expecting much from the Giants, I don't expect them to win this game, and uh, the Browns are the five-point favorites for a reason, they're a much better football team, and the Giants are just decimated with injuries right now, they're just not, you know, they're not a fully healthy squad right now, so the Browns have no business, you know, no business winning. But maybe, maybe they're fatigued from the Ravens game, and the Giants take advantage and they find a way to win. I don't know. I, I don't really know what to expect. But I want to know your thoughts on the game down in the comments. Uh, if, if you think we're going to get crushed, which is is very possible, but again, stay positive, stay optimistic. I hope the Giants can win. I'm, again, I'm staying positive, but not looking good for the Giants, but. You never know. It's football. So we'll see what happens on Sunday night. But Giants, Browns, Sunday night. Uh, make sure to stay tuned for my game reaction, obviously, after the game. And I'll have another video out tomorrow night. So that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoying your Thursday night. And I just finished watching the Chargers and Raiders game. It was a crazy game. And uh, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you guys next time. Let's go Giants.